Hi everyone, Diamond Petty here. I'm going to do another small kit up for you today. So I've decided to do some more earrings. Now I'd forgotten I had these until I recently went through my stuff and I don't know if I've showed you these ones on my channel, I can't remember. But these are just, they're all the same shape, but they're just different colors. So I've got pink, We've got that paler colour. We have greens. And we have rainbow. So yeah, and they came with the earring pieces. I don't know where I got these from. You can go back and watch some of my old videos. I may have showed you, I don't remember. I can't remember now. But um, a lot of the budget friendly websites and even Timu have, as you watched, if you've watched my other unboxing the other day, I did five packets of earrings. They have lots and lots of diamond painted earrings. But these ones I just thought would be nice because you can wear these out anyway. Okay, so <clears throat> I've got all my diamonds here. There are numbers up to eight and then A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H and J. Okay. So I've got my Year Beaut, um Kmart containers here. I love these containers. Absolutely love them. So let's get into it. So what's everyone been up to? Uh, I was going to work on some more Christmas things. I've, I've done a couple more Christmas items. Um, I will be showing you that very soon. I've, I've done a, com a couple of completions the last couple of days. Some more Christmas things. Um, not only Christmas, but other items as well. So I'll show you those in another video very soon. But I was going to do my Christmas earrings or my Halloween earrings. But I wanted to get these ones done because I think these ones would be really good. I don't know. Can you see me? I'm not moving bent down a little bit. Um, I think these ones would be really good to wear out for New Year parties and things like that. So with a bit of sparkle so yeah so I thought I would do these ones next got so many things I need to get sealed oh, it's not enough time in the day I have to and it's also very windy so I've got, I can't do the sealing until the weather improves because it's just yeah just not good guys just not good for sealing there's some beautiful diamonds in this little marquees with a big coating on these ones this one has some big square diamonds too that I've never seen before I've seen the little square ones in that other key holder that I unboxed the other day that I showed you but I have never seen the big square ones so it'll be exciting to work with those I like it when you get a diamond that you haven't had before or that you've forgotten about some more Beautiful marquees there that are green with the AB coating. Very pretty. So, yes, it's been very windy here. Um, the bushfires are starting already. There's over near Mum and Dad's last weekend, or the weekend before, there was some bushfires over that way. Um, my cousin, my cousin's house was in direct fire. Anyway, she's safe, thank goodness. She's okay. But it must have been very scary for them just the same um especially they live on a farm so they've got so many animals some red rounds faceted rounds there um yeah so if you've got animals um it'll be very hard because as sad as it is unfortunately most of the time you can't save a lot of animals in bushfires so it's very hard some clear rounds bigger rounds or medium sized yeah, so she, anyway, they're okay, thank goodness. They had, um, oops, they had all the fire brigade and some friends come and help them out. And um, a family, a lot of family were on standby just in case they needed a hand as well. So, yeah. But thank goodness everything was okay. So, but it's, um, they're pretty. It's very scary when it's happening. And unfortunately for them, they weren't they you don't get sometimes you just don't get a lot of notice to move out because it just happens so quickly 
so yeah unfortunately so they just had to uh, do the best they could and uh, hope for the best and we just yeah we're just praying that everything was okay anyway they're okay thank goodness i'll just normally cut my finger off then so we've got some dome green domes there they're not faceted they're just smooth pretty these earrings are going to be very colorful that's for sure um other than that that's about it i think faceted so i've been trying to sort some stuff out in my craft room i might do a video later and show you what my craft room looks like um i've got a completions video again too i've completed some more items in the last couple of days so i will show you those um i've got i bought myself some christmas little christmas lights for in here for when i do videos they're little tiny gingerbread men but they're on those very very fine wire um i don't know how they're going to go because those there's some bigger red domes smooth domes there i don't know how the wire's going to go because i always get it knotted or twisted up it doesn't seem to want to unfurl properly so anyway i'll do the best i can but i think they will look cute they're nice little gingerbread men some ab red teardrops and i've also also got my some of my cross stitch out yesterday because i've been wanting to get into that and i've got a completion cross stitch completion I'd, I'd already completed pretty much all of it except for some back stitching and i had to wash the dye out of it last time you saw it so i'm going to show you that later i haven't ironed it yet but i washed it over the weekend and got all the dye out of it oh they're pretty so sparkly there are uh, tea, AB tea, tea drops. Love the colour on those. So I'll show you that with my completions video, which will be after this one. So but I just thought I'll, I'd do a small kit up for these earrings with you while I was in the mood to do it. So we've got some awesome, pretty aqua faceted tea drops there. They're pretty. I love that colour. One of my favourite colours. Beautiful. These earrings are going to be so sparkly. Thinking about um, if I can get these earrings cheap enough after Christmas, I'm thinking about buying some and making them up and selling them because um, I've had a lot of people ask me about them, not just at work, but I've had yeah, I've had other people ask me. So um, oh, they're pretty. So if I can do them up, make them up and sell them, um, make a bit of money on them maybe, that would be nice. So I'll see how we go. But um, I, I, I might start these today. I don't know. It just depends. It's late, late in the afternoon here and I just don't know whether I will get these started. These are the squares. I've got to show you when they're in the packet. So they're the squares, pink, big pink squares. I've worked um, with the smaller pink squares on a project recently, but not these bigger pink ones. Oops, these bigger ones. So very sparkly, pretty. They look nice. And then the last one I've got is green, bright green squares. They're very bright, like a neon. Just make sure I've got the number, the letter right. So they're going to look very sparkly as well and that's it that was pretty easy wow so we had as i said one through to eight and then a b c d e f g h j no i for <laughs> some reason but there they are all kitted up in all their glory absolutely beautiful those those earrings are going to look stunning um oh yeah so the square the square ones go up the top so the, I'm assuming the green square will go there and the pink square there. And then you've got the teardrops in the middle of those. And this one, on some of them have got marquees, bigger dots, and then the teardrops. So 
They're going to look beautiful. They're going to look nice. I'm looking forward to doing those. I'm going to start those later. I will film a completions video for you first and I'm going to show you my craft room. Sorry, it's a bit blurry there. Um, show you my craft room first and that's about it. So, short and sweet kidding up, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Sorry, it's very short, but I wanted to do that with you and say hello, see what you've been up to. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. I've got some new subscribers. Um, thanks to a couple of people. So Enza at Enza's Diamond Painting Gallery did a shout out video for me. So thanks again, Enza. I appreciate it so much. And go and follow Enza if you haven't already. I love Enza's videos. And Diamond Paintings with Mike. He's always giving me a bit of a shout out here and there. Hi, Mike. Um... I've been a little bit slow. I just, I'll just bring this out up now in this video so I don't have to do it later because I will forget. I'm a little bit slow at answering comments lately because I've had a little bit of stuff going on and just, yeah, I'm a little bit, a little bit, um, I need to catch up. So Mike apparently commented on my video the other day and the comment went walkabout. And I, I obviously didn't see it. It came up saying that Mike had left a comment, but there was nothing. It was gone. But apparently he commented. And it wasn't any way... It, there was nothing in that comment that shouldn't be there. So I don't understand. It was to do with diamond painting and it was to do with spiders because I, was, it was a video that I'd been talking about a spider in my car. And he commented and apparently he got a warning from Facebook saying that it was spam or something. I don't, I don't know. Other people have been apparently complaining about it as well. So I wish YouTube would stop because it's really annoying. I didn't get to see the comment. It'd be nice if they had have said, can you check this comment out? Mark a spam if it's spam or whatever. Don't go and delete comments, YouTube, because it's really annoying. And we don't get to see them. And there was nothing in that comment whatsoever that was wrong or, yeah, I don't get it. Mike showed me the comment um, afterwards. He emailed me. And I think he might have, yeah, he was annoyed and, and rightly so because, it, yeah, I don't understand it either. But apparently a few other people have had the same issue. So if I don't answer your comment and it does go back to you saying it's spam or something, it's not me. I did not do it. It's YouTube. I'm very sorry. I don't know what's happening with YouTube. Um... Yeah, it's, I, I've never come across it before, so I really don't know. But yeah, I didn't get to see the comment until Mike emailed it to me. So so if I'm a little bit slow at answering, I'm so sorry. I will get there. I did answer a few yesterday over the weekend. So um, yeah, so if, if I'm a little bit slow, I apologise. But I, I certainly will get to it and I will answer you. Um, I have another parcel coming in the next couple of days from Craft Buddy, which I'm so excited about. And my Disney photo album, uh, Disney sticker album, sorry, that um, I had to send back to them is on its way back over with some more stickers. So fingers crossed it's it's not upside down this time and it's okay for me to use because the pages were upside down in it. And I also have another PR package Um a product review package coming from a company so i'm so excited yay so um thank you so much for watching i appreciate everyone for watching my videos and helping my little channel grow a little bit bigger i'm in this for fun guys i'm not really in it i'm not well i'm not in it to make money that's for sure and um i just want to put a smile on everyone's face i try to bring different products if i can i try to um yeah, show you what I buy in case you're interested anytime. And it's nice to see what people are making and um, and the unusual things that you can get these days. When I first started diamond painting eight years ago, there were canvases and that was it pretty much. And they were expensive, guys. I remember the first one I bought, the first one I did was quite expensive. But I wanted to give it a try, so I did. And then they started gradually bringing out, um, I think the next thing I got after the canvases with some uh, flower keychains. So they started bringing out bits and pieces um, here and there. And now you can get so much stuff, as I'll show you when I show you my craft room um, later. There's so much stuff that you can get. It's unreal. So, And it's good because we can utilise and we can use the things that we make, and it's fun. So, so give my video a like if you don't mind. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's free. 
Um, yeah, and I will come back to you very soon with a, um, a completion and show you a little bit of my craft room. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.